Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. Girl, I hope you're having a fabulous day. If this is the first time you're watching my channel, my name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, so if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. Grab a snack and a drink. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, girl. Listen, it is a very easy way to support my channel, girl. It is free. Look. Just do it for him. Do it for him. Subscribe, girl. Give me some love. Okay, so listen. We have to talk, you guys, because I have some, um, some, uh, whatchamacallit, some tea for you guys. So I've been doing all this Britney updates. Um, if you guys haven't watched my last two videos, make sure you do that. I'll link them down in the description. Show me some love on those videos, please. Um, but in this video, I'm going to be talking about how Kevin Federline's son, Caleb, literally just exposed him, okay? He literally just exposed him. So let's go back a little bit. That documentary, whatever the fuck you want to call it, sorry excuse for journalism, that Daphne, whatever the fuck her last name is, did, uh, exploiting these children, okay, these minors, okay, uh, into, you know, putting a really bad light on Britney Spears. Instead of going to therapy, Kevin Federline probably was offered a lot of money to do this, and, you know, this is what he chose to do. He only saw money signs, in my opinion. Well, um, you know, I, it's just so funny that Kevin feels that, you know, the children should not be exploited, yet he had them sitting down in an interview talking about their mother that they don't know, by the way. I had to, if you have not watched my last video, let me just tell you guys for a second. These children do not know their, the, Brittany. They don't know their mother, okay? And the reason I'm saying that is because they only, for the past 14 years, they only know the person that was created, the person that was forced to do things, the person that had no rights, that had no choices, that had no had no say, okay, in my opinion. So after 14 years of being a robot, Britney Spears is finally finding herself. She's finally learning who she is as a person, as a, as a woman, as a mother. This is a time that they should be with their mother, not doing fucking low down, dirty documentaries that in my opinion, they're not, they're being forced to do, okay? Well, listen, Caleb went live on his Instagram and he had to clear a couple things off. So he reposted uh, the, the article of Britney Spears allegedly doing, and you know, people are like, oh my God, Kevin Federline's son, you know, he, um, he agrees with it, like he, you know, he supports it, blah, blah, blah. So people were like, what the fuck? Like that, you know, what is going on, right? Well, he went live and explained a couple things. And he also admits that neither him or Britney's children wanted to do this documentary. And that Jaden or Preston, we'll see it in the video. I, I just forgot which one it was. Jaden or Preston wanted to do this, but they didn't know it was going to be flipped. They didn't know it was going to be turned around and make Britney look bad. So take a look at this live and then we can talk. Basically, I was telling my dad that whatever them niggas names are, the two, uh, the two people that was interviewing, they some weirdos. <laughs> I don't fuck with them. I didn't know them. The first day I met them was that day of that interview. And since day one, I just knew. They had a weird energy about them. I was like, nah, they, they, they not it. <laughs> I know what she said, but we gonna put that to the side. <laughs> like I said, I knew she was sketchy since day one. I was only there for the interview for literally 10 minutes and that's because my dad wanted me to be. Me and my brothers were literally upstairs talking about how we pretty much don't want to do it. Jaden was cool with it because they did. He didn't know that they were gonna turn it around. But I knew. I had a feeling she was sketchy since day one. Basically, I'm that time that's false. If I see a post and I post it, it's because I find it funny. Y'all taking me serious? That's the dumbest shit you could do. I saw that shit and laughed at it. <laughs> And I posted that article because the media be posting bullshit all the time. That's false. If you look at the article, <laughs> my dad had, like, literally, y'all can get into it with them. That's not my business. I'm going to stay out of it. 
Well, you guys, I mean, the proof is in the pudding, honey. The proof is in the pudding. Of course, they didn't want to do this. You know, maybe they just wanted to act out. Maybe they felt forced by Kevin. Maybe they wanted to get Britney's attention, okay? But they did not want to do this. And they didn't think that it would turn into a shit show. But let me tell you guys something. When you get money-hungry people involved in any kind of project, girl, it's going to be dirty. It's going to be low. It's going to be low, down, dirty. And that is what, that's, you know, the result of this. Um, listen, I feel like all this energy that, that Kevin has put to do this documentary, to talk to journalism, you know, journalists, to do all these things, he should have taken this time to, to talk to his children about Britney, talk to his children about everything she had, she endured in the past 14 years, talk to his children about the survivor that is Britney, okay? But not sit down with a low down, sorry excuse for a fucking journalism, Daphne, okay? And, and try and keep exploiting this situation. Brittany was exploited enough, sir, okay? And you have your own son telling you that he did not want to do this, neither did the children, neither did Brittany's children want to do this, and that he knew how dirty this person was, Daphne, and that he did not trust Daphne at all, and he knew that somehow things were gonna be like this. And ta-da, they are. Like I said, when you get two desperate, hungry-ass people wanting to fucking create more drama and exploit a situation, this is what you get. This is what you get, okay? Ta-da, you win the prize, okay, bitch? Listen, um, I just feel, you know, I feel, I feel so, oh, you, I feel like a pressure cooker, you know? And, and I mean, listen, I'm not even Britney. I mean, I, I can't imagine how Britney feels. I mean, we already, you know, we read what she wrote uh, in, in, on Instagram in the previous video, but I just, I feel so, like help, helpless, you know? I feel so helpless because it's like, when can Britney finally catch a break? When can Britney finally be able to be happy? Like 100% happy. If you guys remember in Further Record, she said that her biggest dream is that her and her children and her man, she didn't have a man back then, but you know, she was like her future man, can go on an island together and get away from it all. Her children have been her her light this whole time. And to finally survive that abuse that she was on for 14 years, come on the come out the other side and not have her children by her side, but have to deal with this mess, have to deal with documentaries, have to deal with desperate people with money signs because certain certain fathers are concerned that you know the 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 child support is going to run out real soon girl okay so he had to he had to go low as fuck and contact that trash sorry excuse for journalism daphne to fucking do this well you know what it's just sad it's it's very sad I think that we are hopefully turning a new window you know kevin defended britney Britney came out and spoke. Britney's lawyer came out and spoke. So hopefully this is going to turn things around. And you know what? I, like I said, call me crazy. Call me, call me Care Bear Land, whatever you want to say. But I have faith that everything is going to be okay. I do because Britney has just suffered so much. I mean, there has, to, there is a, I know there's a rainbow on the other side. I just know that there's sun on the other side. I believe that after darkness comes the light. And there's a saying in Spanish that when, when, when the night gets the darkest, that means the sun is about to come out. Uh, I'm not, I don't know if you guys have that in, or we have that in, or you guys, like I'm, I was in, anyways. I don't know if we have that in English, but I love that saying because it really does feel, it, it could resonate in a lot of people's lives. You know, it's like when you feel the darkest, when you feel the lowest, when you feel the saddest, that's when the sun is just around the corner. That's when the light is just around the corner. That's when the relief, the happiness is just around the corner. And I feel that for Brittany. And, and, and even if that means that Kevin had to go through this to, to finally see the light and, 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 and hopefully get everyone together and, and, and show support to this woman who has gone through so much for so many years. I just think it would be such a beautiful thing, you guys. Um, but we'll see what happens. You know, I have faith 
and um, I'm glad that Brit you know Kevin's son K Caleb is speaking out. I'm glad Kevin defended Brittany. I'm glad Brittany's speaking out. I hope that her lawyer takes you know legal action against these publications. And I just really do hope that, you know, there's just can be calmness. And I hope we don't hear anything else. Like, I don't want to hear anything else. I want, I would love for all of this to be dealt with in private, respectfully, in, in a beautiful way that all parties can come together, especially Brittany with her children. And, and, and honestly, I know this is going to sound so cringe, but I just want Brittany to live happily ever after. I really do. That's my biggest dream. So anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, it really just goes to show that, you know, when money's involved, girl, it's not good. And 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 Kevin's son really made him look crazy in this in this live. So, anyways, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.